previously on the vegan drag queen there we go here we go so now we're going to mix this up now we're going to fold in our butter there it our goes. mantequilla we need that to melt stir in, that in that's melting in and then as you're stirring i'm going to start boom go for it with our pecans one cup of toasted pecans are we there are we there yet i think are we we're there, there? I think we're there. there. We're gonna spoon this. We're gonna spoon this. This is kind of like scissoring, but without the athleticism. Well, hello, and welcome to my kitchen. My name is Honey LeBronx, and yes, I'm vegan. So glad you noticed. You can check out my cooking show at vegandragqueen.com. You can check out my podcast at bigfatveganradio.com. And now, you can support my work at patreon.com forward slash honey LeBronx. Today, I am welcoming to the show a very special guest, Jared Bradford, New York City's newest vegan. That works? Sure. Okay, so... Hey, honey. Hey. <laughs> Welcome! So good to have you. Look at it's look great at you. to be Do here. A spin for the camera. Here's a spin. A vegan. Look at this. <laughs> look at that. We are here to show you what we did last week and what this is going to turn into. So if you remember last week, we kind of screwed up a batch of pecan pralines or pecan pralines. Yes. Huh? You got it. You got it. Pecan pralines. Um, so what they should look like, file photo. Okay, great. That's what they should look like. But if they look like this, it's not a problem because you're actually going to grab a large kitchen knife and just going to chop these up into little bits and pieces. This held together really well. That looks great. You held yeah. them together really well. This is what the inside's supposed to look like. That's, that's it. That's good. Have you ever looked within? I have looked within. And you've seen a pecan praline? I, I have. From the inside. Yeah. I've looked at pralines from both sides now. Oh, that should be a song, shouldn't it? Wait, wait, wait. Honey LeBronx, the vegan drag queen, the musical. I left my body for a second. <laughs> We're gonna chop these up because today we are making salted caramel ice cream. Yes. With chopped pecan praline. So, I don't even know how I'm saying that at this point. Apparently, <laughs> I've been getting some viewer mail that's calling me out for the cashew milk episode because they're like, you say it weird. And I'm like, you say it weird. And they're like, it's, it's called a cashew. How do you say it? I say cashew. You don't say cashew? No, it's not a fancy word. Ooh, it's a cashew. <laughs> but it's a cashew. Apparently, I say it funny. So. <laughs> it sounds like you just learned it. Like, ooh, look at this new thing. It's a cashew. <laughs> it is. <laughs> so, before you make your ice cream, you're going to want to take your pecan praline. I'm going back to my roots. Take your pecan pralines. You do it, girl. Chop it up. I will. Chop these up, and you're going to put them in a bowl and put that into the freezer so it gets nice and cool while you're making your ice cream. But we already did that. So, to move on, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make a base for our vanilla cashew ice cream. So, we are gonna get our Vitamix. Oh, oh, where did you find that? Don't, Don't answer know. that. Don't answer that. <laughs> so we're gonna take our Vitamix, and now we need some ingredients. Hang on one second, I'm just gonna pull out my cell phone. We're gonna call Amazon. Boom, boom, boom. Amazon, can you send some ingredients, please, for some vegan ice cream? Thank you, bye, I love you too. There we go. <clears throat> exactly three seconds later. Still waiting for that Amazon. Hmm. It seems like it's... Oh! They're here. I love New York City. Enter! Hey, baby. Hi, baby. Um, Amazon Prime. Order is here. My name ain't baby. It's honey. I think he was referring to me. Miss Jackson, if you're nasty. You. Oh, yeah. you guys know each other. This is my boyfriend, David Emanuel. Oh my god, David Emanuel, welcome to my cooking show. <laughs> you can find him on Instagram as well. Uh -huh. D Emanuel in Y. Big D? A uh, very big D. <laughs> very big D Emanuel and Y. So 
we're going to take our one cup of cashews soaked for 12 hours and two cups of water. So we're going to pour that into the Vitamix here. Get that away from me. Yes. Get that. No, keep that very close <laughs> to me. Um, <laughs> You, you do, you need to have your tops around. Too bad I couldn't find any. So next you're gonna to add to that, you are going to add, this is a half cup and two tablespoons of regular white sugar. Now actually, while I'm adding these things, I like to have the blender already on a little light rumba. So I'm gonna put the top on here and I'm gonna put this, turn the variable all the way down, set it not to high, but set it to variable and then just, ooh. Ah, that's a nice little, <laughs> it is a nice low hum. There we go. So then we're going to add one third a cup of corn syrup. I know some of you are, corn syrup, that's supposed to be bad. It's ice cream. If you want to be healthy, then eat fruit and don't watch a cooking show. Because <laughs> if, well, if, can you imagine if next time we'll on the show, today we're making an apple. Well, salad. you know, it's true. I mean, one of the things about veganism is that you're trying to be uh, lead a healthier lifestyle. But sometimes you want to treat yourself. <laughs> you know that Honey LeBronx has made a fruit salad before. Next, you're going to take two teaspoons of unrefined coconut oil. And after that, one teaspoon of unrefined cocoa butter. If you don't have cocoa butter, you could just use an extra teaspoon of regular oil. Um, speaking of regular oil, you're going to add two tablespoons and two teaspoons of regular vegetable oil. Next, believe it or not, you're going to add a half teaspoon of apple cider vinegar, just a little bit to curdle your cashew milk, and about an eighth teaspoon of salt. And we're almost done. The next thing you're going to do is add a tablespoon of vanilla extract. Or you could add the contents of two scraped out vanilla beans. Or once, you know what I actually added? What? Both. I just added them both. And after you've added all of this, what I like to do is turn up the speed and really get that blending. And then turn it up to high. Huge cock. Anyway, so we're finished <laughs> blending, and now the last thing that you're gonna do is you're gonna add uh, a half teaspoon of xanthan gum, xanthan gum. <laughs> so I'm gonna turn this back on, and then just add in my xanthan gum. You will actually hear. Get this away. Get that away from me. Once you add the xanthan gum, you'll hear the blender starts having a problem breaking it down. It starts to like really make the, the consistency a lot thicker. Mm -hmm. So now the blender is working a lot harder. Oh, you can hear it. There we go. Yeah, you can really hear it. So it's a real workout for the blender. So now leave that on high for a little bit longer. So these are going to be cooking off the heat while we're doing this. So you want to go ahead and off the will be steam. And the next thing you know, I could have bought my elbow. So this is finished. So now, before we actually pour this into our ice cream maker bowl, you want to put this into the fridge for five hours minimum so that this cools down. Everything has to be freezing cold, as cold as possible, or it will not harden and turn into ice cream. I'm just going to put this in the fridge and make some rule. Oh, look at this. You'll never guess what I found. Here's another one ready to go. <laughs> yes, perfect. Don't tell me when that happens. So next, you're going to take your KitchenAid stand mixer. Show the product. Show the product. Show the product. There we go. And you're going to hook up your ice cream maker bowl attachment to the stand mixer. And this has been chilling for about 15 hours, you said? We do the Q&A at the end of the show. <laughs> no, this has been chilled for about 50, uh, 15 hours. Yes. 15 hours chilled. You're going to put the churning paddle in the bottom, and then there's a little connector part that connects here. 
And now if you don't have one of these at home, oh, here's what you can do. If you don't have a KitchenAid stand mixer, you can go to KitchenAid.com and buy a stand mixer and an ice cream maker. <laughs> Easy as that. I've heard you can use a larger bowl, fill it with some ice and rock salt, and then a smaller bowl inside of it, and and and, and, and just hand mix it, right? Here's what you can do. First right. of all, you are going to need some arm strength. Like this? If David? I think we're good. <laughs> More like that. More like that. You know, I have a question for you. I've heard that when you go vegan, you lose all your muscles. I think it's a myth. So. Really? Yeah. But Wait. is there any evidence to back that up? Do you want to see? See what? We'll show you. All right. And this is where you put in the music. I'm going to put in the music. <laughs> oh. Vegan. You know what? Let me just. <laughs> Wait. You know what? I'm going I'm to keep mine on. I'm going to keep mine on. Guys, don't lose your shirts. <laughs> <laughs> so first, we're going to turn this on to the lowest setting, which is called stir. And now we're going to add in our chilled ice cream base. So let me get that out of the fridge. I think it's been about five hours. And here we go. We're going to pour this in. Have we been doing this that long? Uh, we must be because you're wearing a whole new outfit. So we're going to pour this in slowly into the ice cream maker bowl. I find with this jar, I kind of have to like hold it up over the stand mixer's head to get it all in there. Would you be a deer and fetch me in a spatula? Got it. Thank you. you uh, there we go. And then just scoop out the rest because this can't shoes are expensive, you know, since the war. <laughs> so if you just leave this churning, this is going to turn into vanilla cashew ice mm. cream. But we want to make this salted caramel cashew ice cream. So Amazon. Could you get me some ingredients to make microwavable salted caramel? One business day later. Hey baby, <coughs> honey. Oh, well, honey. You, uh, at this point you can call me anything. <laughs> if you got a cup of brown sugar in your hands, you can call me anything you want. I have more than a cup, baby. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> so we're going to make some microwavable caramel and we're going to add that into the ice cream. So first we're going to take about uh, four tablespoons of melted butter. So we're just gonna pop that in the microwave for about 30 to 60 seconds. And so while that's in the microwave, you're just gonna put your fingers to good use. You're gonna give someone a much needed back rub. Yes. Something like, oh my God. What do you, what do you lift for shoulders? What are your dumbbells? Uh, I usually use 30s out to the side this way. Or oh straight. Oh my God. And 25 to the front. What does David use out to the side and to the front? <coughs> He's like, I don't know, I don't, I don't work out. He just naturally looks like Every now and then I go for a jog, but only if I'm running late and I have to run to the train station. But I just woke up like this. I did not get like this overnight. I will tell you that right now. This took a vegan healthy living. Vegan healthy living and a couple of couches did have to die. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you that right now. And once again later. So this is fresh out of the microwave. So David, would you mind just whisking this for me? So now we're going to add a few things here. I'm going to come in with brown sugar and we're going to add to that a half cup of cashew cream. And now we're going to add a half teaspoon of the vanilla extract. And this is a half teaspoon of salt plus about an extra one eighth teaspoon of salt. You want to use about a quarter teaspoon of salt for every stick of butter if you're using unsalted. So now that that's all mixed, we are going to, would you pop that in the oven for us? The oven? I'm, or the, the microwave, microwave oven. oven. There we go. I was, oven, it's slang for microwave. <laughs> hold me, hold me. For how long, okay. Two minutes, please. Two minutes, express Two cook. Two minutes. No, honey, I'm so glad that you found me mm -hmm. and that you, uh, I'm up here. Hi! Hey. Welcome back! <laughs> you went somewhere. I know, I was saying I'm so glad that you found me and invited me to come onto the show. Because um, you messaged me because of, of an Instagram that I posted. Right? I saw him on his Instagram. And he was... It's funny because it was hashtag something about vegan. And I was like, they're going to make fun of veganism. I just know it. And I watched the video. And it was just you making vegan food for your friends. Yeah. 
And we got to play me and David. It was you and David, and you guys were having tacos, I think. And you're like, yes. oh my god, these Taco are Tuesday. so good. Yeah. Taco Tuesday. Yeah. Our caramel is ready, so would you get that for me? Do use a hot pad. I don't want you to burn your hands. All right. Or maybe I do. Maybe maybe <laughs> this is all a ploy. I saw him on Instagram. I'm like, I won't get him to <laughs> burn his hands. This is a very elaborate plan for all that. You're a very elaborate plan well, for all that. It's the nicest thing anybody's ever said to me. So, I'm sorry. Wow. That's <laughs> nice. So, this, we're just going to stir that again. And, um, Jared. Yes. Microwave it again for two more minutes. Get my towel. And David holds me. <laughs> All right, David. Come here. There we go. How is it? Really good. All right, honey. Oh, oh wow. Gotta make it. Ah. Gotta dodge the paddles. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that's good. That's like a bunch of cashews and some other stuff. Yeah. Hold on. And now it's turning into ice cream. That's mm. really good. Oh my god. Jealous wow. other drag queens without like, cooking shows. I kind of think it's better. Than, yeah, it's almost like it tastes almost better than. I can tell you why that is. It's better than dairy, right? Yeah, that's, that's amazing. Because cashew-based ice cream is four times more calorie dense. <laughs> yes, than dairy-based <laughs> ice cream. So what you're tasting <laughs> is <laughs> four times the calories. <laughs> four it's times extra decadent. I definitely want to use raw cashews for this. Anything I'm doing, I like to make sure that it's raw. Well, and then also, Pretty if you're much. vegan, think about all the money you're saving Anything on meat anyway. Right? Anything. So. Yeah, well, no, I mean, meat's expensive. I eat plenty of meat, actually. Cashews, <laughs> spinach, apples. The word meat was invented in the 1400s. Thank yep. you, Colleen Patrick Goudreau. The word meat was invented as an opposite to beverage. It simply, it simply mm. distinguishes... That which is chewed before it's swallowed. Yeah, like nut meat. Yeah. Nut meat, yeah, the exactly. Meat of, yeah. Would you check on our caramel and please don't burn yourself. I think it looks pretty good. I think it looks great. There we go. So now we're just going to give our caramel another whisk. And at this point, we're ready to pop it in the fridge. Would you be a lamb Oops. and pop that in the fridge? Can you open that for me? I will, here Thank we go. You. I would love to open things for you. <laughs> what is this? Oh my god, guess what? I forgot that I left in here. I left in here from last night before I went to bed. Another batch of homemade fresh microwave caramels. So it has now been 30 minutes that our ice cream has been churning. Would one say that our ice cream is now churnt? Hashtag churnt. <laughs> now let's see, this caramel is, oh my god. Mm. Um, that was not smart to do with my lipstick. Do you want to try some? <laughs> I would love to. Hold on. Mmm. Mmm. Oh my god. Is that ridiculous? So good. And it's got a little salt to it as well. Mm -hmm. wow. So what we're going to do now... Salt to crumble. The same way, at a weird kind of cockeyed angle, that we tipped the uh, ice cream into the bowl, now we're going to let this slowly pour in and it's gonna fold in to the vanilla ice cream in little caramel ribbons. That's amazing. Isn't that great? I'm gonna start spatularing the rest of this out. Is that a verb? Spatularing, yes. Yes. It comes from an old reality dating show called The Spatula, uh -huh. where it was 12 women all vying to win a spatula. <laughs> and then he'd be like, ladies, I had a really great time. He'd be like, I felt a really real connection with you. My number is 555. Five, 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 five. But you don't get a rose tonight. And I don't want to waste a drop. Anyone who knows me knows I never want to waste a drop. So here we go. Get the rest of that off the spatula. I'm with you on that one, honey. Um, um, never waste a drop. Never. Ever. I mean, in a perfect world, you'd never even see it in the first place. <laughs> <laughs> and so now, we have our cold, chopped up pecan pralines. And we're just going to let those dump in. Those are so pretty and shiny, too. You're so pretty and shiny. Mm -hmm. it, he means nothing to me. <laughs> he means nothing to He's me. He's very pretty. I was thinking of you the whole time. I'm, I was thinking of myself. I was thinking of, I was thinking about my hair, actually. 
And at this point, so long as it's been 30 minutes, your ice cream is pretty much done. Yay. It's time to take her down. So now you're going to, could you just? Let's, let's, let's put the muscles to use. Ooh. There we go. Yay. Look, oh my god, look, you make that look like it's nothing. Can you return with my spatula, please? You got Thank it. Thank you so much. Mm. Then you're going to scoop that out into a quart container and put that in your freezer for at least five hours. And after five hours, it's going to look something like this. Oh, it's oh amazing. God. Oh my god, it's so dumb. Oh my god. Oh my god, no, for real? Oh. That is crazy dumb. I need a spoon. Let's get spoons. I need a spoon. Oh my god. Now honey, if anybody's looking for something to do for five hours, yeah. while they're waiting for their ice cream to harden, yes. and they would like a nice erotic tale narrated by myself, that's right. They could go on Audible or Audible. Amazon or iTunes and download My Hero, which is an audiobook that I narrated myself and produced. Caution, there are narrated gay sex scenes, so if you're young, avoid it. If you're like <laughs> at least 15, you know what you're doing. You know what you're doing. You might even learn something, really. Gentlemen. Thank you. To our, to our baby, to our love child. Here we go. Enjoy your salted caramel pecan praline ice cream. My Cajun grandmother would be so proud. Oh my god. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. It's fantastic. That is. How did I do? You're really good. Creamy is this what you were salty. expecting? This is exactly what I expected. You're creamy and salty. Mmm. No, it's actually better than what I was expecting. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. So, that's pretty much it. Oh. Thank you guys for, for tuning in. I have not recorded new episodes since July of 2013. Any episodes you've seen in the kitchen were filmed up to July, July 2013. Oh. It is, what is it now? It's April it's 2017. 2017. Wow. Donald Trump is the president, okay? That's how long, I'm like, I'm not going to film this again until... Until after the world has ended. Um, basically, I won't film until the end of the world. Thank you for feeding me that great joke. And then basically Donald Trump got in office and I'm like, it's time. It's time. The people need me now more than ever. More than ever. And you know what they need more than ever? This hair, honey. This hair. This is what that, they need. You know what? And this is what they need. Can we get like a little Olivia Newton-John? Like, let's get physical. Let's get physical. Physical. <laughs> <laughs> you know what we should do? We should do the Jesse Get Physical video and have me as a boy with my shirt off and then transition into you. <laughs> and this is what vegan get behind me, get behind me. This is what veganism can do for you. And this is what veganism can do for you. Uh, uh. Ooh, yeah. You like that? So so eat this. And you guys will look like this. So this thank you guys so much. You're a treat. You're a treat. I know, I've been told. It's been so much fun being here. And thank you. Hundreds thank of you. subscribers. Hundreds of them. And now, <laughs> here's to hundreds more. So thank you guys so much. <laughs> thank you, honey. David. You guys should you guys should get together. You guys are quite an item. Oh. Thank yeah, you. you guys would make a cute couple. We already we already did that. We already been working on that one. Oh really? Okay. Yep. Well, I'm full of great ideas. Uh I think the camera missed that. Aww. <laughs> So thank you guys. Tune in next time when the show is a little bit less gay. Goodbye. Wave, David. <laughs> I did. <laughs>